welcome back to another interesting tutorial, this time you are going to create these chromatic gradients in Adobe After Effects using just some simple techniques. The project file can be downloaded for free, you can find the link in the description below, or if you want the entire pack you can download it from my Patreon page, where you can find as well lots of projects, tips and tricks and also you support my work. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's create a new composition, let's call it Colors. 9020 by 1080 60 fps and about 15 seconds duration press ok and now let's create a new adjustment layer let's call it colors as well and let's apply some gradients i'll go to effect then immersive video and then vr color gradients i think this is better than color ramp or four points gradient because you can use more than four points and currently we can't see anything because we have this box checked so make sure you uncheck it and first of all let's go here to points and let's change points number to six because you only need six colors and for the color one i'll choose the code fbc bc9 for the second one b984 c6 for the third one 5335564 for the fourth one 687ED2 for the fifth one 8DB6F0 and for the last one BAE3FE okay and now I'll just arrange them a little bit Okay, I think it looks good and now let's also change some variables here for the horizontal field of view. I'll choose 120 and for the vertical one 100. You can see the difference it makes, you can just blend the colors a little bit. Then for the gradient power increase it to 80 and for the blend let's say 40 something like that now let's create a new adjustment layer let's call it color adjustment and let's add some curves and here i will play a little bit with this curve to create an s shape just to have a little bit of contrast okay let's go in the project panel and let's create a new composition now and let's call it final the same settings as before and now let's take the colors composition drag it here now let's create a new adjustment layer let's call it motion tile and let's set the motion tile effect and for the width and height i will use 50 for both values and also i will check mirror edges now let's create a new adjustment layer and let's call it wave warp let's obviously add the wave warp effect and for the first one i'll choose instead of sine i'll choose triangle for the height let's choose 150 and for the width 320. now make sure you set the pinning property to all edges so now we got rid of those black spaces and for the direction let's say 45 degrees and for the speed 0.2 i think that's fine so currently we have something like this and we also want some animation for the face i'll hold option or alt if you're on windows and click on the stopwatch near the face property and i will write here time multiply by 5. so now if i play this we have a little bit of animation now i will take this effect and i will duplicate it let's also change the name to wave warp circle and obviously let's change the wave type to circle and for the height let's choose minus 170 and for the width let's say 600 let's also change the direction to about 130 wave speed it's fine 0 
and for the face we have again the same expression and now we have something like this. Now let's take this adjustment layer for the wave warp and duplicate it with command D and for this I will delete the second effect and for this one I will rename it to wave warp and circle. And obviously let's change the wave type to and circle and for the height let's change it to 200 and for the width to 1000. Maybe let's also change the direction but instead of a static value I'm going to hold again option and click on the stopwatch and I'll write here expression time multiply by 10 and here for the wave speed let's decrease it to 0.1 and then we also have the expression for the phase uh, time multiplied by 5, that's perfectly fine. And we now have something like this. You can see these edges we are looking for, but I want to make them more pronounced, I want to emphasize them more, so let's add a new adjustment layer. Let's call it Find Edges. And obviously, let's search for the Find Edges effect, double click on it, and for the mod, I think multiply will do the trick. Yes, so without and with. You can see how we have some more colors to these edges. It's more emphasized. So now it looks something like this. Now let's add another adjustment layer. Let's call it turbulent displays. Displays. And let's add the turbulent displays effect. And for the displacement, let's change this to twist. For the amount, let's change it to 37. And for the size, let's change it to 370. And for the evolution, hold again option, click on the stopwatch. And this time, right here, time multiplied by 50. So now we have some more twist to these animated gradients. And if you want more, you can take this layer, duplicate it. And now we have even more animations. Now we want to add some vibrance to these colors, so let's add a new adjustment layer again. Let's call it color adjustment. And let's search for the vibrance effect. Double click on it. And increase it to 100. Then let's search for the brightness and contrast effect. And for this one, Let's decrease a bit the brightness, maybe minus 40. And for the contrast, all the way up to 100. And also we can press T for opacity and maybe decrease the opacity of the layer to 50%, maybe 60%. Okay, and we're almost done. Let's just add the last adjustment layer. Let's call it noise. And let's add some noise effect. Let's say about 10% and make sure you uncheck the use color noise box because we don't want any colors on the noise itself. And it looks something like this. You can see we have a lot of noise but that's because we have the resolution to half. If you change it to full it's not so emphasized. So I think it turned out pretty good but the last thing I want to show you is if I zoom in here I don't know if you can see because YouTube will compress the video, but if you zoom here, you can see the transition between the gradients is not very smooth and we have some lines here, this is called bending, and if you want to fix this, you can go to project, instead of 8 bits, you can use 32 bits, and now you can see that most of the lines are gone and the gradients are way smoother than before. So this is the final result, you can download the project file for free in the description below or you can download the entire pack from my Patreon along with many other projects, link in the description as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.